Hey guys, welcome back. Now in this lesson, we're going to go over the do statement. And the do statement is kind of the opposite of the while statement. Now, what we've done is like the two looping statements that we've gone over so far, the for and the while, they, they present the test of the condition before we get into actually executing the program. And what I mean by that is right here. It tests this condition here, and if that proves to be true, it moves on to the next part of the program statements. And if it truths to be false, it stops right there. Well, the do is a little bit different. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this out. And by the way, I'm working with the last tutorial's code. So if you're a little bit lost, uh, download that or go watch the other tutorial. My apologies there. But what we've done is we've, take the, we've taken the while statement. We've put it be just after our bracket that, hose, that houses all this code here. All right? And then what we're going to do is we're not going to move that because that was not good. There we go. I think we're back to normal. So we move the while statement here. And uh, and then we're going to take this right here and delete that out and simply put do. And then it's going to start with this code here. So as you can see, we're going to do this pro these program statements here. And we're going to do them while the count is less than or equal to 5 in this case. So it's exactly opposite from the while where we tested a condition. If the condition was, was true, we went through the statements. Now we're just going to do the statements and then we're going to test the condition here. And as long as that condition is still true or valid, we'll flip up and we'll continue with the looping function of doing these while this is still in, in a true phase and so on and so forth. So now let's go ahead and run this and we'll take a look. Well, let's put a semicolon here so it'll run. Let's go ahead and run this and see what our program is. So similar to what we did, we'll enter a few numbers here, whatever you guys feel like in the numbers. And you'll see that we get 28, which I think is right. Let's run it again. Let's just do 10s. Yeah, so the average equals 10. So it didn't affect actually how our program proceeded forth with evaluating five different numbers, taking those five different numbers, adding them all together, dividing them out to find the average, and so on and so forth. Except for we just did it in a little bit different style where we actually ran it. So the only thing you gotta watch out for is if you don't wanna actually do anything before you test or validate or check the conditions of your program to make sure it actually needs to proceed forward. But there are some cases for this do statement and you definitely want to know how to use it. So we are on to the next tutorial, and we'll catch you there.